Well, Cindy here with Create Your Luck and Love. And I get these questions often, and I've been hearing them lately around, you know, <clears throat> someone that is not necessarily showing up for you or kind of blowing you off, kind of not blowing you off, not answering your texts, putting you in the friend zone. And maybe you've had an involvement with them. Maybe you've even dated them for a little bit, been intimate. And there's a part of you, and maybe not the strongest part of you right now, but there's a part of you, the rational side, that's like, I should really get over this guy. He's not showing up. He's, you know, he's like that, that book, he's just not that into you, right? So there's a reason for why it's so hard to let go. So, and this is true for a breakup as well. I just want to, I want to let you know that. Um, so when, when this is happening and, and I'm going to say across the board, when you're not getting what you need and obviously there's different situations, but he's not really showing up. He's not loving you back. You're not in a committed situation and you get to have the whole box of chocolates, not just one little piece here and there, hence a Valentine's Day little joke. Um, so here's the deal. And I have healed myself from doing this. So I know I can support you guys. Um, why do we get in this place where we can't stop thinking about the person and we are wondering like, did I do something wrong? Is he, um, you know, maybe he, he's intimidated by me or maybe, um, maybe he's busy. Maybe, um, maybe what he said isn't what he really meant. Do you ever go to your girlfriends and, you know, or a friend of yours and share what he says and then you're trying to get the translation and get it broken down and um you know all of that so and then in your head you're replaying situations that you've had with him because it's really hard to unhook it's called looping and i've talked about this in the past but um so why do we do it it's a need for control. It's a need to try to control the outcome and try to get what we want. So, and there are symptoms. If you are doing this, you are replaying things in your mind. You are um, replaying conversations or kind of making up conversations with him or talking about it with different friends and rehashing things that he said or certain situations. So you're in this place where you're minimizing yourself, you're minimizing your value, right? By, by doing this. And it's, it's continuing to make you feel kind of crappy because the guy's not showing up. Right? So, um, so you can, you might be fixating, right? You're like this little microscope in there. So what do you do? What do you do when you want to control it mentally? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of steps that will support you. And it is natural for our brains to do this looping, especially since, um, especially since like when, when we feel rejected or you know someone doesn't answer us it is the worst freaking feeling for a human being it's it's like it's worse than than anything so when you feel that way when you get rejected the looping naturally starts or it comes across as a rejection i don't really believe in rejection i re believe that it's god's protection and that that wasn't really meant for you so at any rate we we then start obsessing with about it and we can even obsess 
about this for this piece like it, it's it's a the looping in our brain like a drug addict fiends for its next fix <coughs> excuse me no kidding so um so what do we do how do we unhook um number one and let me know if you've you are in this situation or you've done this in the past and and just say yep that's me i've done it been there done that got the t-shirt whatever you want to say because i want to hear from you um this used to be me on the regular because i can count so many times how many guys i've had a thing for a crush on that didn't return my love right and the looping started, which is control and it's also a way of keeping you safe. So how do you stop it? Number one, you stop talking about it to your friends and hopefully you have friends that freaking love you and call you on your stuff after a little while and say, hey, girlfriend, no need to talk about this anymore. <coughs> Sorry, I have this tickle in my throat. Um, so there's that piece, right? And so stop talking about it. Stop yourself from talking about it. And then tell yourself you're not going to go there. You're not going to give your brain the power to continue to obsess about this. So how do you do that? When your thoughts start to wander that way, say, thank you for going there. And interrupt it say you know what I'm gonna think about this I'm gonna go here and live your life do you because here's what happens and it happens gradually sometimes quickly sometimes a little bit slower but you will start to step back and see the forest for the trees so to speak and you will see that this person this wasn't really all it was cracked up to be and then you start swiping right and all of a sudden you start getting dates and then you start talking to someone new and then that is typically the time where he shows up again but that's a whole nother video anyways you are so worthy of someone that shows up that has the capacity to give you all of his attention and show you the love that you're so willing to give. So, oh, I got you, Georgia. Let me know, does this help? And, you know, and like, stop, stop, stop the obsession. Don't, you know, if you're journaling about it, if you're meditating on it, if you're, you know, look, talking to psychics, whatever it is you do, stop, 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 slow down go do you, get some exercise, have some fun, and, you know, treat yourself to an amazing Valentine's Day. Or go find another date, because there's plenty of guys out there that would love to take you out, I'm pretty sure. So give me a thumbs up if this helped you. I'd love to read your responses today and give you extra love and support. If you know a woman that could use this message right now please 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 share the love and if you're on youtube and you want to get access to my videos please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this because i want to continue helping you and if you're on igtv hello good to see you um and I'm really happy to see you guys. I hope you have an amazing, blessed rest of your day. Goodbye. Mwah.